okay welcome welcome let's you know please just look in by using this website menti.com and just enter this code seven eight five four one zero okay done okay so today we are going to start a new subject which is about business ethics so please just write what what do you think about business ethics you know you have a little box there to write okay and carry on posting what do you think about business ethics or uh, is it really ethics is matter in a business any example any unethical practices doing your own experience when you enter and send i hope so i will get all on this screen Okay, so principle and morale, right or wrong, doing while carrying out business operation, right and wrong. So any example of wrong? Uh, for example, if there's a factory that's producing some uh, products that requires the raw materials such as chemicals or is producing waste materials that's damaging the areas nearby or polluting the water nearby if that's in lakes, etc. So that would be ethically wrong at, you know, the uh, factory people, the owners, you know, they'll be foregoing the um, cleanliness of the surrounding area and uh, uh, they'd be polluting the surrounding, the, the environment that the people are living in over there. So basically that would be ethically wrong. Brilliant. Well done. Yes. Uh, any example of our organization, you can write again as many questions you want to write. Okay, so, so open-ended question. So as many questions you want to pose, that's fine. So well done. That's a good answer. Okay, both. Yes, Malia and Manu. Manu, you can as well if you want. And also. Yes, any other question you think, which is leads to ethics, right or wrong? What is meant by right then? I guess we discuss about wrong and right. What we're supposed to do is morally correct. Is it child labor is correct morally? No, that's wrong. Wrong. Okay, a lot of people they can justify it is right for business use child labor because the people don't uh, they don't have a, a really food and the basic needs for them to earn. But it's the ethical, moral responsibility of the organization we can offer them if we can free food instead of involving them in a business. Anybody heard about the business? The apps in Bangladesh three four years ago and lot of you know the people those who used to work at the sieving center that is supposed to be stitching clothes and building claps and lot of people lost their lives and that contract was the company called Primarks in UK 
and lot of people said ethically is morally wrong who is the responsibility to make sure because the company gave the contract to subcontractor and the subcontractor is based in bangladesh and then of course building collapse overloaded people and thus the like you know so ultimately the contract we are giving so we need to look around the ethical morally side as well the company because it can or will impact our brand value as well any question okay mm -hmm. so today let's will start and we'll see first what we supposed to cover so the things which we can observe that are morally or ethically not correct so we can embed some examples as well from your own experience so when we'll write assignment so first we are looking understand the perspective of ethical and its relevance to business so we're looking at the background and development ethical approaches how many approaches been developed why these been developed it's based on the various cultural elements because maybe we think in another culture ethically correct but in another culture may be ethically wrong so we can look around these we we'll go through compare and contrast absolute and relative ethics what is meant by and different you know the theories behind them and we'll go through explain the ethical issues which can affect the operational activities of a business these ethical issues how can affect you know business activities and evaluate the implications of the business and its stakeholders operate ethically so what implications can be for a business if they operate ethically and what will be positive or negative impact you know on the organization so what's happened with facebook it was the uh, data confidential confidentiality that was being breached by the facebook authorities without the permission of holders yes well done so the facebook used the data uh like a lot of people saying they not sold it but they sold the data to other company and the other company used for the business perspective and they influence on others and uh, in term of the election in states and various other things happen so that's all come under the ethics so is it the business allowed to do so no no uh, your own picture is uh, really posting on the facebook and the facebook is using as a maybe a picture as a poster on the various product without your permission without your consent can they use no no can't they can't use it without your permission so we're looking some here is the legislation and ethically maybe is it no legislation but ethically morally wrong so we learn a lot of things you know these ethics it's every uh, a religious perspective as well is teach us some ethics as well basic way of are uh, the basic life rules of life you know so these are all mor morally and ethically so we need to maybe the people in the past though ethically used to be think that's wrong is becoming right that the society is accepting now these things so all these are discussion so first we are looking at the one understanding the perspective of ethical and its relevance to businesses so we'll go through business and businesses and be able to report role director investor and other stakeholder to ensure ethical practices what are the roles of the directors what are the role of employees what are the role of investor to promote the ethical uh, concept ethical business in the organization so understand the issue which is inform the company's reporting and their impact on societies so we will look you know understand the issues which inform the company's reporting and their ethical and the social responsibility as a company so we'll go through evaluate the ethical dimension of the business and csr what is the csr stand for So it's um, um, something social responsibility, something social responsibility. Well, then that is called corporate social responsibility. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are selling drugs, medicines, 
and those have a side effect mm -hmm. and we are an yes if we if we will tell the people that can be impact our profit we can be close our company as the organization people can lose the jobs yes but other it can really it's a impact on their health so we need to look around ethically morally as a social responsibility to protect the health of the individual so maybe we need to look around the wider interest of the public not few people's interest the wide society interest that generation generation will affect from it so we look the corporate social responsibility in perspective so this will go through in detail so first today our focus will be please if any question ask me ethical perspective some words may be a pronunciation wise is quite difficult the ontological teleological ethical theories which will go through development of these early approaches which we go through all these and this is in the by Khan and which will go through in the mill uh, these theories and the business ethics and we'll discuss you know these things in detail and we'll look and we'll observe you know what our organizations is doing we can embed you know a lot of examples in our um, written elements when we'll do and we'll write our assignments then our focus will be operational activities we'll go through in our organization professional ethics and ethical issues corporate governance social responsibility environment human rights uh, corruption trading trading fairly legally regulatory compliance practices so there are a lot of these ethical unethical things happening throughout the world okay any question here no so today we'll focus on will be all these points lesson we'll achieve i already uploaded and uh, on moodle so please follow two handouts which is two books plus these powerpoint slides and these slides normally prepared from these and i'll uh, put the links as well to online reading okay <clears throat> let's you know we'll start Okay, what's come? What is the definition of business? Can we define business? Yeah, we can. Yes. What do you think? In your own words, simple words. What is the business? Basically, trading, buying, and selling of things. Business and selling. Yes. Is it always buying and selling is a business? No, it's not always buying and selling, but uh, uh, we could say in we could put it in uh, simpler words that it's kind of an uh, it's kind of a, a commercial activity, mostly relating to trading, commerce. Yes, brilliant. That's fine. There's a commercial business length of transaction, exchanging something. Yes. Yeah? So is a transaction involved in a business. So we yeah. call it a business. Somebody giving something, somebody performing something, somebody doing something. So all this is a business. Uh, Manur and uh, Malia, I think so. You know each other very well, no? No. No. Sir. Okay. So sorry. Is uh, please can you introduce yourself each other? So Malia, where are you from? I'm from Alpindi, Pakistan. Okay, and uh, you just completed your OTHM level four. Yes, I just completed my OTHM level four in business management, and today is my first uh, unit that's being started in reference to a level five. Okay, brilliant. Uh, anything else you want to? You completed your O level, A levels. Yeah, I have completed my O levels and A levels from Pakistan. Okay, brilliant. Well done. So, yes, Manu, where are you from? I'm also Pakistan, but I live in Saudi Arabia. 
Okay. And you doing level five? Yeah, I've done level four from uh, uh, ICM. Okay. Yeah. And so the A levels and O levels. Okay, good. Well done. So how's football is going? Tunisia played really well this year. Yes. Yeah. Unexpected results. Good. Okay. Let's we'll move to our so our topic today and uh, our learning outcome: introduction to ethics and ethical theories, and the uh, explanation of corporate governance and corporate social responsibility. I wish you know, end of the lesson will achieve these objectives, and you will be in a position to explain me more in detail what is ethics and ethical theory. Those are and discuss the corporate governance, like you already mentioned. Ethics is the morally acceptable things, yes, morally correct thing. Ethics mean morale. Uh, corporate governance, what is meant by corporate governance? It's the government that's uh, responsible to govern or uh, keep an eye on the commercial activities. Brilliant. So corporate governance, how the company will be operate are operating at the minute, yes? So all this come under the corporate governance. Oh. Ethics and moral ethics. Ethics is a science of moral, morals and moral responsibility in a human context. Determine what is the right and wrong course of action. So like here, in various non-Muslim countries, unfortunate, not happening in Muslim countries, uh, when the fasting month start, the prices increase in Muslim countries. And uh, in non-Muslim countries, the prices drop during fasting month. It's everywhere, not just in the UK, it's everywhere. Almost all part of the world. So, what do you think, AB is the argument can be, because it's a very high demand in Muslim countries that demand push or pull them to be high prices. Is it ethically wrong to be charged high price? Yes, it is. If the demand and large demand supply is applicable, then it's fine, it's ethically correct. Profit in those months to maximize our profit, that morally is wrong, yes? Not, you know, the becoming the millionaire in that month, which is morally wrong. So we will go through and uh, we'll try to be discuss here. And we'll contextualize our discussion. So next we're looking now, understand the difference between the business value and the eth ethical value. So business value are the core principle, are the standard that guide the way an organization does business. But when we're looking at the business value, can be customer focused? To work in the best interest of the customer? Provide them best quality? Positive image we'll get from customer? We'll deliver goods efficiently at time? Collaborations between various stakes? Stakeholders, openness and integrity. What is meant by integrity? Integrity is basically the self-respect, the, the self-esteem. Uh, is the integrity more is towards honesty? Okay. Yes, you can come and uh, you can see our processes. We are very open to the people. We are saying this this product. Uh, we have a here is a company called Uncle Ben. They make a lot of tin foods and they said they have a one product is called rice, uh, crispy rice. So they advertise themselves, don't use this product more than twice a week and it can be impact on your health. Is it right ethically? 
So I couldn't understand your last statement. Could you please repeat it? Okay. We have a one company called Uncle Ben. Okay. They have a different sort of the product, high fat, low fat, medium fat product. Mm -hmm. So their one product is called rice, crispy rice sort of. So actually they advertise themselves that don't use this product more than twice a week. Okay. Because you think, uh, is it very difficult to say to your public, your customer, don't buy too much these products because this could harm your health which is ethically, morally, 100% correct, yes? Yeah. My, maybe the lot of shareholders can object it because their dividend will be dropped because the company can earn the profit less, yes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The company is the openness. They are telling what the product is contained in it and how this will impact on the health. But ultimately, when we are telling to the people, the company, the customer will think, or company is a very integrity. They have very honest with the people. They're not just looking their profit. They're looking the health of the people. So that we need to look around, you know, those sort of the things uh, in integrity point of view as well, which will go in further our discussion. Innovation, business values, responsibility, profit and growth is all business need to be. Okay, next we'll moving now. Any question? Okay, no. business value. It is okay to have a list of the business values, but what to do with the words really means? How does the organization achieve these values and what the business is about? Let's look two companies and see if you can find what is meant by the word shown in the example list? Yes, you know, first. Uh, okay, Nestle. Good food, good life. What do you think about Coca Cola? It's soft drink, like a soda. It's soda, yes. Is it good for a health? No. It's not. All the medical research says not. Yeah. So, ethically, morally, so company need to tell it, yes? So, ethical, that is less ethical, yes? We're not telling the people the side effect of it. Okay, sorry, we're not doing class based, otherwise, we're supposed to spend 20 minutes in group to discuss. Half of the group group will look at the so we're looking in term of the nestle and you need to be uh so of course we're not doing it so we can two companies practices which one is more ethical which one is less ethical okay ethical values are the set of the guided principle that encourage an organization to make the decision based on beliefs and attitudes so business will set their own ethical value. Outline clearly example, right and wrong behavior as the related to. So ethical values can be honesty, openness, transparent. You can come, you can see our operation. You can come, the food we are making it, what contain in it. Care about environment. You will see here, we are cutting uh, plastic use. We recycling our product, yes, about the environment, ethical value, equality and fairness. We treat people equally. We not discriminate on the basis of the age, sex, race, religion. So fairly treat, we'll pay equal salary, not you, you're a foreigner or you're a local. No different salary. As long as your role and responsibility match, so is ethical trading have you heard anything ethical trading yes what is meant by ethical trading uh, it's when the company claims to uh, perform its uh, activities in such a way that are not harmful to the consumers mm -hmm. And uh, 
ethical like that's all <laughs> yes it's it's a quite big you know area of discussion for discussion think about you know the cocoa beans is grown in different part of the world yes mm -hmm. the cocoa beans is grown and picked by the young child yes mm -hmm. from the farmer so if we saying ethical claim as a company we not supposed to be buy the things where the child labor involved we discourage it yes mm -hmm. so ethical trading we think about the packaging that we are making is recyclable material we think about the profit we are earning that's the affordability for the consumer yes so we think about that's all the ethical trading green packaging green so that's all come under the ethics as well staff welfare yes holidays flexible working hours uh, maternity paternity leaves so all this respect social responsibility all this come under the ethical value so we need to look around in a business ethic point of view okay any question no. okay next we looking value many companies set the business value and also ethical value and sometime there is a conflict between being able to fulfill its business value business value mean your promises you saying we don't we don't involve in the child labor we pay the fair wage we pay this we caring about environment we not dump you know on uh, the rubbish food and we not throw the things in sea we always clean we grow the trees yes we care about the environment we helping local people we are develop our uh, setting up school we are boosting education we are offering free uh, fresh water we are helping people so these are promises so we need to be look around sometime these promises are very costly yes so we need to look around what they promise you need are you doing it as well or not it may be have a set of achieve high profit and the growth it is what the shareholder have to be promised so if the promised shareholder will maximize our profit and you will get higher dividend but if we are offering free food to uh, poor people of course you know we reducing our profit so there can be a conflict yes is it make sense yeah, yeah. so we need to look around these in a ethical we need to balance it conflict of interest can arise in the businesses so like in both companies have a different so next we looking ethical theories first absolute and relativism so first absolute mean relativism and absolute both are refer to the ethical and morally belief system in society and an immutable set of moral rights and percepts or perception hold true in all situation doesn't matter whatever the situation people have changed it yes they say what is the right what is the wrong common in all societies wide variety of ethical belief and practices wide variety different variety of practices what is the correct in any given situation will depend on the condition at that at that time maybe child labor we can say is is a correct in that situation is not other situation yes but according to absolutism we everywhere different part of the world we are saying in is wrong so these are two different beliefs on so two different theories about these any question okay is a separate handout on this if you want to be more in details reading background so that's all upload to put the link there for you is quite good to see it or uh, you can reference you know when you discuss these theories in your assignment
So here's the link here. Any question? No, sir. Okay, let's we'll move. Okay, next slide we have. Next theories. So these are two theories. Come on, my slides. Okay, next we're looking. Okay, so can you see there? Yes, sir. So first, dogmatic versus pragmatic approaches. So idea of the absolutism and relativism can be illustrated. Are two examples are the concept. One is called dogmatic approach. Take the view that there is a one truth, and this is the truth to be imposed in all situations. So one truth that can be imposed to every situation. So that can be a dogmatic approach. The word taken from the Greek word dogma are the given truth and the viewpoint is correspondence to absolutism, which is we just you know discuss. Uh, second approach is a pragmatic approach, which is attempt to find the best the specific moral situation best route okay we can't fulfill the demand of a whole society because we don't have a fund so what we will do we can categorize we can prioritize which one is a more needed person yes so we'll have them the first one so this approach is similar to relativism is attempting to find the solution on given belief system are the individually involved. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, so when we are looking the ontological, the further two approaches, logical approaches of ethics. So one is called right or wrong based on the action itself. Which is based on the action itself, we say right or wrong. Human dignity, human rights, universality, are uh, some which we will be looking in ultimately as a universe. So, teleological is a right or wrong depends on the outcome of the decision. The outcome of the decision that's really matter. So, like you know, a lot of discussion about is it testing on animals? Yeah. Is it right or wrong? It's wrong. Wrong. Why is it wrong? That's because uh, while testing such uh, products on animals, it could uh, harm them. It could even take their lives. So just because just because they're animals, it's not. It does not kind of give us give us the right to experiment everything on them, since they too are living things. Yes, they have their own interest. Like we as a human rights, they have a, their rights as well. Yeah. So we, if by doing this, like you know, lot of discussion about you know taking organs from human are testing on is a lot of you know in religious perspective or in morally perspective. Maybe people will think is a wrong. Or maybe the outcome of the decision that protect the life of individual that's all right. Yes. So that's a huge discussion. Then further these two theories being developed on this ecosystem or alterism. Sorry is my pronunciation on these. So these, you know, we need to look around as well for the slides. Any question? Yes, sir. Sir, I have a question. Uh is the dogmatic versus pragmatic approach uh, different uh, from these deontological and tele teleological approaches? I mean, are there like four types of ethical approaches? Yes, these are the four different approaches by different authors. They further, you know, add it one or two and carry on changing it. They not agree with the previous one. Okay. I mean, they are saying, no, we need to look around both right and wrong. 
based on the action itself mm-hmm. actually yes not only the belief on itself yes actually you have to do right if you're not doing wrong and you you, you know the, what your actions really represent as a that's a thing the logical approach so right and wrong depend like you know i'll give you example here like uh traffic light everyone have to follow the rules yes Mm-hmm. so if you taking the and you passing the red light and then because you want to help somebody in case of accident and you want to take the patient to hospital and you break the law yes because yes. you went you know and break the signals what you think is the wrong or the right well i think that was right <laughs> so in your point of view is right at that situation yes mm-hmm. because your decision outcome of your decision can be impact on somebody else yes so you looking in the human dignity is a right yes mm-hmm. so that's we need to look around as well like we have a lot of discussion here those people have a severe pain from um, uh different diseases like a cancer patient and they want to kill themselves so doctor can give them medicine they can end up their life but ending up the life is not a human it's not a dignity in the way you know if it is a natural death happen it's fine but not you know the kill in a way giving medicine to they relieve the pain and finish their life so is a huge discussion going around in society so lot of legislation going to be passed as well in different part of the world but they are all you know agree this is a wrong yes but maybe lot of argument can be protect from the pain they are suffering okay then we have sorry yes you are right you know these are the different approaches and we need to be in a different perspective so which will go through so here is a further been been explained dentrological approach this is a non conceptualist theory is the motivation or the principle important so motivation and the principle is very important their rule yes so we need to look around an action can only be deemed right or wrong when the moral for taking their actions are known and there are the the three key instead of the test of the action that the action or the morality right so satisfy all these consistencies act only according to the maximum by which you can at the same time desire and the action become universal of law so we look looking in term of the law the action can only be right everyone can follow the same underlying principle everyone follow the same underlying principle then action can be right human dignity act so that you treat humanity whether in your own person or in that other person so always as and the never as means only so like you know lot of discussion going around in political party these days especially in election so i didn't i not it's my own action but i not you know suffer the humanity i work in the best interest of the humanity my action can be from my own provide situation can be different but i never have i mean you know in some of the humanity so we need to look around those the universe reality where is the act only that thoroughly yes regard itself and the same time universe law giving and the would be an action will be used by the other moral or suitable then another approach a logical approach which can be whether the decision right or wrong depends upon the consequences of the outcome is it sense little bit yeah okay yes. next equinism further we can look around sometime thought the view what is the best for me an action morality right is this decision make freely decide in 
order to pursue either the short term desire or the long term interest short term desire short term desire can be everyone short term maybe short term people will work hard or suffer something but we looking that maybe lot of people think is a long term we need to look around ecologists will also do what appears to be right in society because it's make feel better and they does not always work because the action in the all member of society cannot be determined so it may be different action in different groups and different cultural background have a different views on it so if is ethics is such a very complicated area because one near to one person ethically wrong another person ethical wrong so like a religious belief and practices and things like happen in france and various different parts so maybe thinking they ethical point of view they are right you know a lot of discussion going around these you know things any question so next we looking the utilitarianism where something start as a idea best are the greater number and the action of the moral right is result is a greater amount of goods and the greater number of the people are affected by the action so we looking as a society what is a greater number is a benefit as a wider interest of the society is very important so it's applied to society as a whole or it's not the individual like you know lot of discussion going around allowing play at those are involved in drug and they they say sorry and then they can do practice and some say no that's not ethically because you're developing a culture in a society anybody can make mistake say sorry and then happy days so that's you know set you have to set you know what is as a wider interest of the public it is a valuable in the business decision because they introduce the concept of utility what is meant by utility anybody ever learn in economics utility mean yes sir it's it's utility is basically the the point at which you are making the best use of something for example when you really thirsty you when you take the first glass of water that is that glass would you know uh, would fulfill your thirst for uh, for the maximum uh, but uh, but glasses that that would be taken after the first glass would not give you as much utility as the first glass of water so the that would be first full uh, that would be first satisfied with the first glass would give you the maximum utility That's so utility utility is a satisfaction so satisfaction mean the human satisfaction so near to some like you know a uh, lot of last chain in saudi arabia for example so when we looking in term of the satisfaction so that thing if is give the satisfaction to human being so morally we we all can say is right but maybe in some people can say no is wrong so economics value of actions yes say they know we are in the profit organization and independent and so all this is a lot of discussion can be it's a highly subjective area any question here no sir then one other author is called colsberg and uh, he gave the cognitive moral development theory cmd cognitive so colsberg developed the cognitive moral theory explain the reasoning process behind the moral judgment reasoning so you can give the reason but why you think is morally correct yes mm -hmm. so post convention convention pre convention is so post convention individual develop more autonomy in decision making based on the principle right or wrong so when we develop the principle right and wrong then people can so that is a post convention so he divided pre convention conventional and post conventional so post convention pre conventional if we we'll go upward so first you look the individual shows the concern 
from the self-interest and external reward. Self-interest and external reward when punishment. So a lot of people first think about their interest. Yes? So we need to protect self-interest. That's the obedience and punishment rules we can set. Instrument purpose and exchange we can set. That's the pre-conventional approach to be judge the moral and the conventional individual does what is expected of them by others. You do what others expect from you. Interpersonal record and conformity and social record and the system of maintenance in society. And the third, then he said post-conventional because we as a society, if we look, you know, different, we are chaining, yes, so a lot of things are happening. Maybe in the past, you know, people used to think about in different, because this uh, long, you know, history is carry on chaining. So social contract and individual rights. So universal ethical principle, universal ethical principle as a universe. So which is quite difficult to be everyone. So we need to look around these. Recon Does it make sense a little bit? Yes, sir. So these theories we can uh, use and we can write about them. Okay, then we have in our learning outcomes. Sorry, it's quite too much. We to skip. Okay, these are the two main authors. They gave the theories. Then they said the ethical theories proposed by Icon and Rose. Uh, they called you know technological philosophies behind. They assume the moral values and action depends upon the agent an intention relatively namely and complying of the moral principle rather than the consequences they believe here moral reasoning is not the based on the factual knowledge the result of our action don't determine whether they are right or wrong according to can the human action is motivated either by the reasoning or, or the happiness so morality depend either on the reason or the happiness so happiness is a conditional because it's to differ from individual to individual. Happiness meaning dif different individual to individual. It can be either good or bad. So maybe some people do something, something which is wrong morally and ethical, but that gives them happiness. Mm -hmm. So reason alone is a universal and thus the unconditional. So morality based on the reason in order to become a truly universal can name the moral universal reasoning goodwill the power of rational moral choices so then he set up three rules saying formula of universal law act as the maxim is your action were to be secured through your will as a universal law Formula of humanity acts so that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or that of another, always at the end and never at the means only. And formula of autonomy is act as if you were through your a law making member of the kingdom of end. Yes, so you just follow. Any question? No, sir. Okay, next we're looking now. These are the theories, please try to be just, you know, go through when you write your assignment. So next we're looking at the corporate governance. This is believe the organization must be some corporate social responsibility. Social responsibility organization must account for their action and believe me, there must be difference between the world in now and what should be. Any question? So this is all about the corporate governance. So corp uh, corporate governance and corporate social responsibility, two different things. So when we are looking at the corporate social responsibility, entity increasingly accepting, they have socially environmentally responsible. Who are the people who are the affected by the entity action? They have to look around. There are the course many employees, customers, suppliers, all the stakeholders. But the corporate governance is not the same as corporate responsibility. CSR is a principle that the entity will think about the impact 
on the wider environment and will take the documented step. Documented step mean how much CO2 we reduce, how much target was given, what we did for and how much we are, how we can improve we using solar panel, solar electric, we not using the coins that's impacting the health. health. Maybe other society they say we don't have electricity, we have a coal which is right to use for us. Like Donald Trump uh, not saying they are saying okay let's you know because we need to in increase the employment rate. So we can reopen our coal mines and use the coal which is the harm for the environment. So they're not fulfilling so that's a different things you know. Strategies are the regulation shape many factors so we can look around all this. Corporate governance is a framework of entity should be recognized the right of the stakeholder and operate by law. So that's the corporate governance which will go through for the slide. Okay, then we have a theories as well uh, uh, on the corporate social responsibility. So when we look in the corporate social responsibility, we're looking in terms of economic responsibility. So we need to be share demand at the reasonable return shareholder. Imply want the safe and fair paid job and customer want the quality at the fair price. So we need to look around economic responsibility. We need to look around the legal responsibility. The law is based on the line of the operating within a society. We need to follow ethical responsibility. This is related doing what is right, just and the fair and the action taken in this area providing. So we look around this is all ethical responsibility. Then for uh, logical responsibility were related to the discriminatory behavior to improve the life of the others. So we're doing the charitable donations to promote and recreation activities. So here we are focusing economics, legal, ethical, and morally, which is right or wrong, as a wider interest of the public. And Okay, next corporate governance just is a system of the uh, the system by organization are directed and controlled. We in the UK is a Cadbury report that's about how the companies is operate. Like a lot of discussion in going in the UK to change the corporate governance rules where the fair representation of the society members, then the implies representation at the board level in the management. So because a lot of directors and the CEO, they are getting million in bonus, but the employee salary, they are, their salary is not increased. So with management director, they can declare you know, their benefit. So we need to look around the wider interests of the wider stakeholders, not just you know the board level, because of course, when the companies perform better, they not only perform the plan better, but they also perform the action from the employees better as well. Any question? So this is these are all the corporate governance slides. So please go through it. So when we are talking about the corporate governance concept, we need to look around the honesty in place within our organization, accountability for the director, independencies, strong inferences. We need to look around independent responsibility. The system of role and responsibility need to be in place within our organization. The CN taking and judgment of that decision, who's going to be prosper, reputation of the company, we need to develop it. So that's all leads to the corporate governance. Okay, next we have integrity, honesty, organization, fairness within the fair wage, not discriminate between uh, gender point of view as well, fairness salaries. Transparency, openness. Yes, we said we not on the profit this year. Not like we have a company called Tesco. They said that they have a 220 million profit, but actually was 160 million. They manipulate the sales. So we need to be transparent, openness, innovation. Yes, we need to use the new technology. We need to innovate it because if we want to sustain it in 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 the business, we need to be innovate. So all these are corporate governance practices. So we need to look around the need of the entity. Always this 
typical or the estimation of the profit and good lies amount in the next corner. So we always need to look around the attitudes, behavior. Okay. Any question? So next we have an area of discussion agent and corporate governance. So director of the company or the CEO of the company, they are agent for the shareholders. So shareholders actually owner of the business because they have an investment in the business and from the investment the company is running their business. Does it make sense? Yeah. So they have to work in the best interest of the shareholders, not their own interest. So there is an agency relationship. The contract under which one or more person, the principal is mean the actual owner, engage another person, the agent, to perform some service and their behalf and involve delegating some decisions, making authorities to agent. This also we use the fiduciary relationship, duties. So a duty imposed upon the certain person because of the position of trust and the confidence in the stand of the relation and other duties. So it's a duty of a director to be work in the best interest of the all stakeholders and especially the stakeholder, which is the shareholder. So fiduciary duties are owned to an entity and not individual shareholders. Director must exercise their power for proper purpose so they can use their power okay there are many reports those being developed by various authors and their names is different we call Cadbury report of the corporate governor the financial reporting council in London talk chain they said you know the best practices okay known executive director we need to be those not then the, those not they taking that can be known executive director in the board. So two known executive director, they not working for the company, but the known executive director, but their views can their voting can be when we declare. Now we need to be here. A lot of discussion going implies representation and society representations as well. Key stakeholders in society in the board of governance. So then there are 1998 combined reports being published. That's again about the corporate governance. So these to promote, you know, so with the passage of time, like, uh, have you heard about World Telecom? We heard about the World Telecom company. World Tel? Hello? No. Have we heard about the World, World Telecom? Mm. Uh, we never heard? No. Okay, World Telecom was the biggest company of United States in nine, 2001. They showed they have a good, you know, billion profit, but after four months they can't afford it to pay salary to their worker. So a lot of you know the day due to the poor corporate governance, due to the misled the people, corporate social responsibility. So a lot of new standards being set up. Like we have a steel mills and various other corporate governance. Who is corporating it? Yes. One person taking the money out of the business and becoming a millionaire and transfer the money in different part of the world and that's you know all about so we need to protect the organization those are the entity for best interest of the public so governance is very very important so we all this is a board of governance or how the company that's it we known as a corporate governance corporate social responsibility what is the responsibility as a company toward all the stakeholders toward the environment a generation will come after us, CO2 and all, you know, ethical and moral practices. Any question? No. So today we learn about all. So what we learn? So we learn about the ethical theories. Can we list the names of ethical theories? How many ethical theories we learn? 
Okay. Dogism. Yes, Malia, what those are ethical theories? Hello? Yes, so we learn about different absolute, relativism, centrology, teleological. Yes? These are all theories which we can discuss, you know, when we'll go through the learning outcome one. Okay. Every professional organization, if you're a member of uh, OTHM or you're a member of any other organization, they have the professional code of ethics. And as a, as a student, as well as a member, we need to follow those professional code of ethics. So professional code of ethics, we can quickly write because we have one learning outcome to go through. So professional code of ethics can be if you're a member of ACCA, if you are a member of integrity, it mean honesty. Professional behavior. Always work behaviorally correct, yes. Professional Competency, it means your knowledge need to be up to date if you're working in tax or any other business and you have to care for clients. If you don't know the things, you don't supposed to do the things. Uh, objectivity, so not conflict of interest. You're an auditor as well and you're an accountant as well. We can't both and confidentiality. We should keep the information of the client confidentiality. We should keep the information of the client confidential. Any question? So these are called professional code of ethics. Professional code of ethics. So as a business person, as an individual, we're supposed to be follow them. Any question? Okay, let's we'll finish then. Quick recap and then we'll finish. So today we discuss about ethical theories, all these theories. Yes, we discuss business ethics. We discuss then corporate governance, operational activity, different levels. We discuss about human rights, corruption, compliance. What is meant by compliance? To agree to work together. Uh, yes, it means the rules being set up the organization and everyone need to be comply with them. Yeah. The compliance procedures, standardized compliance procedures. So this is always, you know, we'll set trading fairly legally which we discuss as well which is ethical princes individual ethical responsibility as an individual as a society what about the sustainability sustainability is when when certain uh, when certain action of yours a certain policy of yours it needs to continue for the remaining time period it needs to continue for a long period of time. It shouldn't end in a sh in the short run. Okay, sustain for the sustainability of the organization. We need to promote sustainability within our organization. Like you know, we can say people, please turn off the lights. We can put the sign. Yes, that help you know to reduce the cost of the electricity. We'll upset the policies towards you know cutting the paper cost. That will help to be more sustainable. Uh, we need to look around the we need to introduce the car sharing scheme people can use one car when they coming towards work we can introduce you know the our, our we can say okay we'll provide you pick and drop service for sustainability in term of environment and the profitability as well so we need to look around how we'll promote sustainability in our organization that protect the planet protect the workers rights as well and uh, protect 
So we look in triple bottom line concept, which is mean three P's. We need to protect the planet. We need to protect the profit and we need to protect the people. So planet, people and profit. Yes, so when we do all these, we are doing sustainability. Any question? No, sir. So that's all today. Is too much? Yes, maybe. Sir, so, um, sir, could you please upload the slides of this lesson one on Moodle? Yes, which I'm going to do now, and I'll upload the recording as well for you. So okay. please. Uh, uh, last thing I think so before I'll show you as well, and you can find these two handouts as well which is quite good so this is background reading if you want to even you can reference them as well please and we'll go through some case study as well eh? following lessons and different scenarios we'll see you know ethically was wrong right or wrong so please go through this is one of uh, we we normally use in ACCA so that's the hand I'll explain corporate governance ethics and corporate social responsibility. So a lot of scenarios there as well, a lot of theories, but you don't need to be picked so many, but you can look around the relevance to your area, which we discuss as well. Another is, is quite good handouts, which I found, uh, and you can please go through as well. That's explain all, you know, this is the, all about the ethics, which is used. So ethical, all the definition in, different authors point of view normative ethic, ethics what is meant by all these being explained and it's quite good in that so i have a question yes sure so in task one uh, that's uh, for this unit it's uh, in the first part of the task it asks for the explanation of the regulatory framework for csr okay right so, um, Re regulate, regulatory framework for CSR mean corporate social responsibility. Yes. So okay. we we can look around the regulatory framework as a as a company under the corporate government framework. We want to be it's called rule of principle and rule based view, which we'll go through more in the next lesson as well. So today we'll focus more on the ethical perspective. Next framework itself, you know, international accounting standard, they give us framework and that's we can use. So the link which I copied there. So mm -hmm. please, when you do this bit, uh, you need to look around the Kaplan handouts, which I just copied the links for you. So you can look please here. So these are all, yes, social responsibility issues, theories, corporate. So where can we find this link? Is there within a slide, you know, I just copy there. Okay. So you will see which slide was, which I copied. So please go through, I'll upload it. I'll just put the link as well. Huh? Okay. So that we can discuss during our next lesson as well during our recap. Huh? Okay. So that's all. Huh? So we'll keep up here today, and you will find the links there uh, where I copied. Yes, you will see there, that's the link, yes. Slide number 12. Slide 12, please. Okay. Good. And for that, we'll, we'll recap during our next lesson as well. And I'll go through assignment brief task one with you. So this week, you just uh, go through a look around the task. You can set up your assignment. You can set up the scene first, yes. Go through okay. these theory and link it, and I will give you further handouts as well. Eh? Okay. Okay, brilliant. Have a nice weekend. I'll speak to you next week. So all lessons will be on Moodle. So just follow.
and okay. the fear no i have a question regarding the accounting assignment uh question regarding uh, manur i i think so i reply your email yes regarding that okay you're talking about the ratios yes yeah 